Oh. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Not so fast. We just wanted to get an early start today, Mr. McDonald. As they say, a farmhand's work is never done. You've only got one more week to get your harvest in. Well, I'm afraid you've only got one more day. One day? What are you talking about, Mr. McDonald? They were just talking about it on the radio. In fact, they're still talking about it now. This is Twister Test with a weather update. Our latest bulletin shows a cold front moving from the north, meeting the trade winds coming from the south, fed by precipitation from the east and perspiration from the west, and all that adds up to one big bad weather day tomorrow. So all the farmers in the Tri-County region are urged to get those crops in by sundown. And now back to a regular, regular program. I'm sorry guys, but it looks like we've got a pretty big job ahead of us. Not to worry, Mr. McPhee. I've got something right over here. I've been working on it. I'll harvest those crops in no time. Not another crackpot invention. You know, Alfred, the last contraption you built was supposed to paint the barn. It ended up painting the cows instead. But this one really works. It's all tested and ready to go. Here it is. It slices, dices, packs everything into a bale, and even ties a bow. I call it the XO Magnum Crop Terminator. Just watch. <laughs> That's okay, Alfred. One day your inventions will really help people. I'm sure of it. Maybe one day, but not today. Mr. McDonald, we're wasting time. We don't need to depend on some machine. I don't need to depend on anybody or anything. I can do whatever needs to be done myself. I stopped trying to do things on my own a long time ago, Meg. The only dependable co-worker is God. Harvest completed in one day, even with God's help. It seems that God's always been able to do a lot in just one day. By, in one day, he created day and night. And in just one day, he made the sky and the seas. He even made all of his children in one day. But the job's so huge, and there's so few of us. That's when you really have to depend on God. God can take something tiny and turn it into something enormous. Like when a mustard seed becomes the largest plant in the garden. Or when a tiny acorn turns into a giant oak. Are you all ready to grow like that?
Now that's the kind of faith it takes to bring in a harvest. Where should we go first? Let's go to the North 40. That's where I supervise the planting. All right, Meg. The North 40 it is. Miss McDonald, Miss McDonald, bad news, bad news from the North 40. What bad news is she talking about, Meg? I don't know, sir. That's Spud, my foreman. What's the bad news, Spud? The crops, Miss McDonald, they withered and died. We planted them several times, in fact, but they never took root. Hmm. I was afraid of this. Did you find many rocks in the soil, Spud? Yes, sir. Lots of rocks. And weeds, too. And whenever we put down new seed, these big birds flew down and ate them up. This is what happens when you don't cultivate the soil. Cultivate? What's that? Cultivate means getting rid of anything that could get, rid get in the way of the seed trying to grow. Did you cultivate the soil, Meg? No, we plowed. Who said anything about cultivating? In fact, someone had a lot to say about cultivating. His name was Jesus. And he knew more about sowing and reaping than any farmer that ever lived. He even told his friend's story about it once. I think it's something you need to hear. understand now, Meg? Sure, I got some bad seeds. That's all. No, no. The seeds were fine. In fact, they're incredible. The seeds are the word of God. Only seeds that fall on the soil and take root can grow to yield harvest. What about the rocks and the birds and the weeds? Can that happen to our soil here? Well, I'm pretty sure our soil here is good, but rocks can roll, weeds can spread, and those tricky birds can pop up just about anywhere.
searching around. Let's chat down, right, Robin? Time to feed him some seed. What do you say, Lark? I'm scratching the statue, Robin. Where is the seed? Sorry, ladies, but this is good soil. The seed has already taken root and grown. You're going to have to find some poor soil somewhere else. Well, let's fly this coop, right, Robin? I should say, what's in hospitality? Wouldn't you say, Lark? We'll never accept a lunch invitation here again, Robin. <laughs> Phew, that was close. It's a good thing our crop is already planted. Not just planted, but with deep roots. If you listen to God's word, but don't accept it, the seed just falls on the soil and it's eaten up by birds. But if you accept God's word and it takes root in your soul, then you can yield a heart that is a hundredfold. I want your love, joy, peace, patience way down in my soul. Kindness, goodness, faithful, gentle, self-control. I'll keep growing in you so your spirit can produce. The fruit that is rooted in you. Come on, I want to hear you now. I want your love, your patience, way down in my soul. Kindness, goodness, faithful, gentle, self-control. I'll keep growing in you, so your spirit can produce. The fruit that is rooted in you. Jesus is the vine. You know, Meg, what I appreciate about Alfred is that he keeps trying. Yeah, and he keeps failing. Stop it, Meg. You're just jealous because your crop didn't grow. I am not. I told you, I got some bad seeds. Nothing was wrong with my soil. Except a bunch of weeds. See, they're all mixed in with the plants. Let me see those weeds, bud. Weeds can't grow here, can they, Mr. McDonald? Oh, you can never be too sure. Weeds can sprout up just about anywhere. Have you heard the story about when Alfred tried to invent an electric rooster? Have you heard the story about Alfred? And once the weeds take root, it's almost impossible to get rid of them. And then there was a time when Alfred was even crazier. Have you heard the story about Alfred? I'm Blast. I'm Squeal. And, and we're, we're weeds with the real big bad really rotten rumor.
have you heard the one about Alfred? It's strange, amazing, but true. But now that we've heard about Alfred, we'd like to hear more about you. I'm a Roomba Wee. She's a Roomba Wee. I'm a Roomba Wee. She's a Roomba Wee. Time will start it all to me. Make a big laugh to the Roomba Wee. So what is a rumor? It starts as a story. Maybe it's true, maybe not. But once you repeat it, it's hard to defeat it. Now look at the mess that you've got. The one about Alfred. A rumor weeds know how a rumor can grow. It's like a big weed in the ground. I'm a rumor weed. She's a rumor weed. I'm a rumor weed. She's a rumor weed. Time will sort it all to me. Big, big mess. I'm, I'm a rumor weed. can be tough, especially when they've been allowed to grow for a long time. Hey, Alfred, I'm sorry that I listened to those guys. I didn't really believe the stories they were telling everybody. That's okay, Spud. Man, we're never going to get this harvest done. We're chasing birds and killing weeds, and now the weather's starting to cloud up. Is the soil finally good enough? I'm afraid there's still one problem with our soil. I can see rocks and stones right from where I'm standing. Rocks in this soil? It's as flat as it can be. I don't see any rocks. Rocks can come in many shapes and sizes, Meg. They can come in the shape of a closed mind or a hardened heart. Nothing can grow that isn't open. You know, this bad weather that's forcing our early harvest can be looked at two different ways. On one hand, it's trouble. We didn't expect it, and now we have to finish our harvest more quickly. But on the other hand, it's a blessing. We didn't expect it, and now, well, we'll have our harvest more quickly. Don't fight the rain, Meg. Nothing can grow that isn't open.
to McDonald's. You were right. Everything seems different now, not trying to do everything on your own. Well, that's the way we were created, Meg. God knew we would try and fail on our own. But he loved us so much that he gave us a way back to him. That way is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way the seeds of truth can stay planted, take root, and grow to bear eternal fruit. That's not man's way. That's God's way. How can I make that my way? All you have to do is ask.
everything seems different now, not trying to do everything on your own. The Lord will be with you every step of the way, and so will all your brothers and sisters. That's awesome, but even with all of us working together, we're not going to get this harvest done. And we have all those fields in front of us. Uh, I have something I've been working on that I think will help. Will you get them for me, Spud? Sure thing. Of course they may not work, and you may have a better idea, so you don't have to use them if you don't want to. Alfred, I'm really sorry for all those times where I've made fun of you and your inventions. I guess I was just jealous because <laughs> you were so smart. So I would love to see what you were working on. Yeah, just give us time to take cover. Here it is. Wow, what are those? I call these the Superman Multi-Drive Turbo Harvesters, batteries not included. How do they work? Well, as we look out over those fields, they're ripe for our harvest. So if you'll only pass a turbo harvester, we'll collect the biggest harvest we've ever had. And just remember, this is only the beginning. Jesus told us to spread the seeds of truth to every nation. Now that will be a harvest. The farmhands are ready, Mr. McDonald. They sure are. I declare, I've never seen so many acorns turn to oak so quickly. Give them their orders, Meg. Yes, sir. It's harvest time. The harvest is planted and the workers are few. The Lord is so many people that need to know you. Open our eyes, the fields are ripe. There's so many lives that need to know Christ. 